we start off with uh, something that's fairly uh, fairly familiar. Let me just get rid of that message off my monitor. Right, good. Uh, and that is Google. <clears throat> so if you wish, you can launch Wimborne Guitars from Google. If we type Wimborne Guitars in the search bar, I did that just to test it a minute ago. So if I hit Wimborne Guitars, what you get, the first thing that comes up, or it may do on your screen, it may not, depends on your um, search settings. It says Wimborne Guitars Banner Innovation. So who on earth is Banner Innovation? Well, that's my coverall. Uh, basically, that's what I use for hosting all the various websites that I use, including Helen's business. So um, don't worry about, if you see Banner Innovation, it, it is me and it is Wimborne Guitars. Uh, here's a link to our Instagram account. And so as you go down, you find, yeah, we've got a YouTube channel as well and so on. That's one way of getting to Wimborne Guitars. If we go back to Google again, uh, you can also type it straight in up at the top here in the um, uh, navigation bar. So if I type Wimborne Guitars or one word, WimbourneGuitars.co.uk, it will take us straight to our homepage. And there it is. Now, you may notice that the uh, web pages have different colored backgrounds and they change frequently. Every time I make a change to any of the pages, I change the color of the background. Don't ask me why, it's just one of those <laughs> things I do. It reminds me, though, that the reason is it reminds me whether I'm working with the updated or the previous version of the web page. So I actually use it when I'm editing and it just sort of brightens the place up a bit anyway. So here is our Wimborne Guitars homepage, which we can see now. And uh, if we scroll down, there's a lot of scrolling involved, by the way. So if we scroll down, we can see that most of it at the top is all introducing Wimborne Guitars. And um, you're all members, so you don't need to subscribe or uh, hit the help button or anything like that. Uh, and you don't need to become a new member because you all are members. Um, down here, we got a little bit about just an overview of the whole thing. And um, there are links all over the page to go to various places. We've got a latest news uh, section down here, which um, doesn't get changed that often these days because of course all the news comes out generally in the emails that I send out week by week um, or at the sessions themselves. Um, down here, we've talked a bit about sessions to go. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. And here, of course, are the two tracks on YouTube that Wimborne Guitars recorded. Uh, the first one was This Land Is Your Land that was recovered, it recorded during lockdown. And the second one was Streets of London. So if you've not heard us and seen our YouTube videos, oh, you must go and take a look. They're wonderful. And um, so there's the YouTube channel there. That's it. That's our home page. And um, it's long and messy, but I don't worry too much about that. Now, over here on the left, under the heading menu, these are the buttons we can use to go to various different places. And anyone can get access to this top column here. But you need to be a member of Wimborne Guitars to get to these two pages down here, uh, because that's where all the good stuff is. And so you need a username and password for that. Now, the username and password hasn't changed in about four years, and it is uh, for all members to use. It's really just to stop passers by at stealing all our stuff. Um, I did change the uh, username and password at one point about four years ago, and it caused such chaos that I decided never to do it again. <laughs> because everybody kept phoning me up. I, like, I can't remember what the password is. So uh, anyway, we've left it as it is. <clears throat> and um, so I won't say what it is because we're recording this and it might go public. But uh, anyway, you know what it is. If you don't, then you can uh, send me a message. So let's have a look page by page at what we can do. Now, the first one we can branch off to is here about me. And uh, this is probably the most boring page of the website because it's all about me and uh, there I am in all my glory. Uh, and uh, so if you want to know a bit more about how on earth I got into this, that tells you that there. Um, we won't worry too much about that now. Now, the next uh, one down here, session dates and times is much more useful. So if I click on that, what we get here, these are the dates uh, and the times just to remind you 
uh, for 2023. So it goes right the way through January, February, March, and then it leaps to October, of course, because we uh, take the summer off, uh, as we should do, of course. We're laid back musicians, and who wants to be doing lots of work in the summer? Uh, so we all go down the beach and do whatever we want to do in the summer. And then November and December, we've got the dates there. Now, however, we do have occasional workshops and we've got two this winter so far. We've got uh, one that happened last Wednesday, which was absolutely brilliant. Not, not that I was doing a brilliant job, but everybody really enjoyed it and everybody said they learned something. So I was chuffed a bit that they did. And coming up on the 22nd of February, also on a Wednesday, is our electric exploration. So if you've got an electric guitar, or indeed one that you can plug into something electric, then that is a wonderful session to come along to, because we're going to be doing everything from um, playing techniques through to what to do with your amplifier. Down here, we've got a map of where the Allendale Centre is. And um, uh, I certainly don't think you need that one, Mandy. Um, and under here, we've got our session credit pricing structure. And so this is the thing that confuses everybody. So if you buy between one and four sessions, you pay five pounds 40 each for them. If you buy between five and nine, then you get them for five quid each. If you buy 10 or more, they're four pounds 80 each. And there, when you get these sort of things, these links pop up, you can hit that and it will create an email for you that all you've got to do is click send and it comes over to me and I will then respond to you with the information. Now this I use quite a bit in our weekly news email so you'll be familiar with clicking buttons throughout my emails and um, uh, I just try and make life easy for you basically. Okay, let's go back up to the top. So that's session dates and times and pricing. Doesn't say that there, but uh, that's what it is. Now, we're getting to the point now where we can start to branch out a bit. Before I go on any further down this part of the list, though, I want to come down here. And all the good stuff here and here is broken broadly into two categories. This page, and it is vast, it scrolls on forever. So if you think you're never coming to the end of it, you're probably not. Uh, <laughs> but it does end, uh, I do promise you. And um, it just keeps getting longer because as we do another song, I add a bit at the top. So the bottom gets further and further away. Uh, so that's our music and songs page. So everything to do with the songs that we play and learn uh, on that page. The playing techniques page is everything to do with how to play uh, songs and how to play guitar. So things are divided up. We'll come back to that in a minute. But the reason I've mentioned that now is this next page here. We're going down this side, John. We're just going down the menu. Uh, and if I click on song list, we get this page pops up. Now, the song list, when we're talking about our music, this is the place to go because it's the quickest and easiest place to find out everything related to a particular song. So as we go down, uh, scroll down this one, we've got a nice table here. And as you see, the song reference is on the left. So that's our song number in our song book. And believe it or not, we're up to number 43 now. We're going to be starting on number 43 on Wednesday. Marvellous. Then we've got the song title. What is it? And if you hover over those, nothing happens because they're just information. They're not links. However, when you get to the music for the song, when you hover over those, they do become links. And if I click on that, you will find that the music magically appears. Now, the reason it comes straight up for me is because I've already logged in to the um, members section of our website and once you're in once you've done that you only need to enter that um, username and password once uh, so that during your browsing session you can get anywhere you like in the website you don't have to uh, enter that password and username again so there's my music for this land is your land now I'm going to go back to the song list page because the thing is that's one version of the music now, here in the handout column, if there's a handout, it'll tell you. Now, there's no handout for this song, but what we do have over here in this column, a practice track. 
Now, if you, if you um, click on this, these practice tracks were recorded by myself. They're slightly slower than the song was originally written in. So it gives you a chance to play along to them. You can download them to your devices so you don't have to be online to listen to them. You can put them on your um, phones or whatever you want to do with them and you can play along. That's the whole idea that you listen to them and play along. Now, um, when you click on them, they open it in a new window. And there we go. So that was recorded at what I laughingly call Sunnybank Studios, uh, which is basically this room that we're sat in now. <laughs> and uh, so that's what you get when you click on a practice track. And if you go back to the practice track, the uh, if you're on a PC or a Mac, this should work. If you're on a tablet, it might not be quite so easy. And on a phone, it's just downright difficult. You can play it, not a problem, but to download it is a bit more tricky. But you notice these three dots here. If you click on that, you can download it. And that means you can save it to your device and you don't have to log in every time you want to listen to it. Now, this is interesting. Playback speed. If I click on that, I can actually slow it down. That's good, isn't it? Let's try playing it at three quarters speed and see what happens. Amazing. Now, the interesting thing is you notice that the pitch of the song hasn't changed, so you can still play along with it. Now, if you put it into half speed, which you can do if you wish, uh, it gets, oh, you can go down to quarter speed, but we'd be here all year <laughs> if we did that. <laughs> <laughs> we, we don't want to do that. So that's what, uh, I mean, actually, you can also, uh, if you wish. Um, you, can, you can speed it up as well and go twice the speed, which is really funny. But you don't want to do that either. So anyway, there we are. You can do a, quite a few things just from that screen itself. But <clears throat> I'm sorry, was there any questions? Are we still all right? No, we're okay. Good. Let's carry on. There is, however, a lot more material to do with each song. And to get there, the best and easiest way to do that is from the song list page. And it's this column here, members link. And there's just a series of numbers. Now, if I click on it, what happens is this. It takes you to the section of the members music page uh, in this case, right down the bottom, but it takes you to the relevant section. So here you can see it's called session one. And um, don't worry about why I've called them sessions. It was because in the early days, um, we had one of these per session of Wimborne guitars. Every week we met, we met weekly, and every week I added another one of these. It doesn't happen like that anymore because everybody got um, uh, totally bogged down with trying to learn new stuff. But here you now see we've got some handouts, we've got uh, lyrics, notation and chords, we've got a finger picking score, and you can download all of these different things. You've got a full score there, so there's a lot more music available for each song uh, if you go into this section of the website. And so the easiest way to get there is to click on the members link. That's what it means. So that's a, a useful thing. Now, not only that, if there is in this um, column here, an S2G link, which stands for sessions to go, these are the recordings of the sessions that I did via Zoom during lockdown. And um, we, we learned a lot of the songs via Zoom. I went over everything again. So each link here takes you to the launch page for uh, one of our song um, seminars, if you will. They're about an hour long each, and I'll show you one in a minute. So that's what that means. It's a sessions to go, it means you can take them with you wherever you go. And um, those, however, you'll find you do need to put a unique username and password because it costs you uh, one session credit to get access to them. 
Once you've got access to them, you've got it for life. You only pay once. And so if you want to study a particular song and see what we did with it before and go back again and again and listen to bits and pieces and have a look at it, I'll show you what comes up with one of those in a minute. But that's what that column means. So now we've covered uh, the all columns on the song list page. And if you scroll down, you notice that we've got all the songs here. Now, if there isn't a practice track available, you will instead get a YouTube link. And that is something that's relevant to the song. It might be the original artist playing it or <coughs> um, something else that links to the song. But there are, as you see, quite a few practice tracks available. There's a chunk here that are not, uh, and I'm adding to them all the time. So if there isn't one now, there might be in future. Uh, and as we come down here, they start again. So you've got some practice tracks here uh, and so on. So you can see down here that you've got, uh, see this one here, for example, for Crossroads, song number 40, you've got a practice track including the lead guitar and down here you've got a practice track excluding the lead guitar so it depends if you want to play the lead guitar part you can just have the backing and play along to it and uh, by now we're up to session 53 as you can see and if i click on that just out of interest you get that and it goes straight to session 53 so you can learn how to play it you've got a handout you've got the music and you've got some audio files. They are the practice tracks. And down here, you've got, and they pop up in a minute. It takes a long time to load this page, by the way. You've got various people playing Crossroads. And uh, these are three different versions of Crossroads. And as you can see, they're YouTube videos. That's, uh, that's what the little uh, red television screen means. Okay. Silly, silly question, Mark. Before no, no, there's no such thing as a silly question, Steve. Ask away. All right. Um, the sessions to go, you need a password for each one. Yes. Uh, do we ask you for it and ring you up? And... You do. Let me show you how we yep. go about that. If we go back up to the top of the members section page, if I go now from Songlist down to sessions to go, you get a, a description on what they are and how they work. Now the subscribe and becoming a member that's just repeated if you're if you're new to Wimborne guitars you can subscribe to the mailing list or you can become a full member again that's not relevant to you guys because you all are full members there's some introductory videos here that everyone can see and then as we go down there's a little bit here about how you can get to the right time in the video and so on and um how you can change the playback speed within the video uh, and so on and so forth. Now, when you come down here, there's a whole raft of stuff here. Let's just have a look at this one. If you're interested, for example, in this session here, uh, it's the beginners one session, part one, laying the foundations. If you click on this button here, the green order now, that will create an email and then you just got to send send that across to me, click the send button in your email that it creates, and it comes across to me and it orders the session. <coughs> and um, let's see, if I do that, I'm not entirely sure whether you'll see that on screen, but it's, it's quite easy to do. And then once you've got the username and password that I send you by return, because I send you that by return, um, as soon as I get the email and I've looked it up, send that back to you, and hopefully within an hour or two, and then you can click on the open button and it takes you, it won't take you to this page. It'll take you actually, and I'll show you what it does. Let's just go back again to um, sessions to go page. Just bear with me while I do that. What it will do, um, the reason that one went straight in is because I've already logged into that one, but here's beginners. To, if I go to this, it does that. It asks for, a username and password. Now, don't put the normal ones in because they won't work. But I'll give you a clue. The username is always the same. And I'll show you what it is. It's sessions to go. <laughs> and that's what it looks like. That's the username for sessions to go. So it's just the password that is different for everyone. <coughs> now, as I say, I've already 
um, gone into this one and I've entered the password. So it then gives you this completely unique page. And there's one of these pages for every one of the 65 videos that we've recorded over time. This is why I said I thought it's helpful to have a trip around the website because it's pretty huge now. So the first thing you get is the actual uh, video of the session. And as you can see, it's one hour and three minutes long. And this was a, a, one of the first ones we did. Um, and you can see that it comes up. Oh, no, I'm rambling a little. Look at that. I'm in stereo now. Right, let's shut me up for a start. Shut up. Thank you. So um, that, let's get rid of those as well. So that then means if you've got a particular place in the session you know you want to go to, you can scrub along to that. Oh, hang on, there's a handout. Let's have a look at that. And then you can say, right, I'll take a look at that. Now, if you want to, you can click on this uh, square here. And lo and behold, you get it full screen. So you can now really start to study what is on the screen. Now, we'll come out of that. Down here, you've got other materials as well. There was a handout used at the session. And this is specific for this session. So if I click on that, we get this. Now, these are handwritten and they're handwritten for a reason. It's because you can do so much more with handwriting than you can with um, typing. So I've sketched in all sorts of stuff here uh, that's relevant, even strumming patterns and the like and um, some principles to learn and tips, tricks, cheats and secrets and so on. Down here, I might have sketched a few bits of tab or notation and I might have made some notes on the sketch here. And this is a sort of standard form that I used. Um, and then I wrote in my notes. I used I started using it for my own benefit and thought, actually, this is really useful for everybody. So I quickly used to um, put this up on screen. OK, now. So that's that. Then you've got the music and other handouts which are associated with the subject matter. And so that means that you can click on those and wherever they are in the website, you get to them straight away so that you don't have to go and hunt for them. Uh, and so that's that's the end of that page. So that's everything to do with <coughs> that particular uh, video, uh, beginner's video. Any questions on this so far? <coughs> yes, Mandy. So um, we just pay one credit and, and then that gives us access to any session to go. No, it's it's, oh, it's, it's one the, credit per, per, per session. session. Yeah, perfect. OK, got it. But there is a but uh, you can get a much better deal if you know what you want. Let's just go back. Um, I'll go back home for a minute. We'll cancel that. That's now unauthorized. So let's just go back to uh, our home page again. So down here, online courses, I've grouped popular ones together. So if we click on online courses, then we find that, for example, Beginner's Bonanza, you get session one, session two, session three, session four, and session five for four session credits. And you can order those. That's good, yeah. And then you can click <laughs> on separate sessions there. You get all five passwords with that order for just four session credits. Down here, we've got Building Blocks, which is a six session series we did, where we talked about foundational techniques for your playing. We talked about harmonies. We did that over two weeks in actual fact, so it's two hours worth of harmonies, exploring the fretboard modes and a new <laughs> approach to guitar playing. So these sessions lead one to another as an entire series we did over several weeks. And again, you've got six sessions there for four session credits. And there are the links to the separate sessions. And uh, down here we've got on uh, course three is on chords. So you can see what uh, what the pattern is now. And again, so you've got six sessions with only four session credits. Finally, oh no, not finally, we've got uh, riffs and licks. 
Uh, I drew those together so you could get something that relates. All of these things all tie in together quite nicely. So again, you've got a six session set for four session credits. And then finally, this is the final one, song selection. Uh, down here, you can, if you order now for this one, you create an email and say, I would like these six songs. And uh, if, when you go to the song list, they've got an S2G link, at the right hand end, then there will be a video for it. And if you want to say, right, I want to learn those six songs, and you tell me which ones you want, and then for four sessions, oh. bits, you get access to those six songs. Does that answer your question, Mandy? No, that's perfect. And then also, is there a time limit on all of those? So no. let's just, so, so once you've saved the, the first course, course one, you've paid for that and you just for some reason wanted to revisit it six months later, you can. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. That's oh, perfect. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. That's right. <laughs> okay, so that effectively, that effectively takes us down to this section of the website. The only thing that's left are these two here. Now, the first one, interestingly, we've already seen because if we go on to that one, here are all the sessions. This is our latest one, by the way. Uh, session 56 covers song number 43. So there it is. But if I actually go to our song list page, which we saw a minute ago, scroll down to song number 43. There it is. And you've got all eight parts available to you, but we're going to do them one at a time. We're only going to do part one on Wednesday. Uh, there is one handout. There is a YouTube link. And if I click on 56, it takes me back in exactly to that place we just got to. So you can see now that we're actually on the members page. So if I scroll down, well, we get the previous song. Neil Young song number 42. So it's just helpful. It gets you straight to the place on that page. And if you can see, this page is huge, it's absolutely vast. Um, so here's all your information um, available. You can have a quick look at um, this actually is the original track. And I've designed our version of Stairways to Heaven, Stairway to Heaven, so that you can play along with it and you can put the parts in. So uh, you're in good company with Robert Plant and Jimmy Page and John Paul Jones and um, John Bonham, indeed. He was still alive in those days. So that's what we've got there. Now, that covers pretty much everything to do with songs, everything to do with sessions to go and our recorded videos. What about playing techniques? Well, this, I have to say, is a page which is a complete hodgepodge. Now, if you want to know what it's all about, you've only got to ask Mandy because she's printed everything off from this. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, go star for that, Mandy. Um, so, we these are focus groups. Now, they started focus. The idea of a focus group was that it's people who were playing guitar already and they might want to focus on a particular technique. They might want to learn a new technique. And so we did Tuesday night focus groups and it, we, we had, it was a, a small turnout, but uh, a very compact little room. It was in the Julian room at the Allendale Centre we used to meet and we had uh, a sort of five or six of us and it was great. During lockdown, we carried on and uh, we recorded focus group sessions as well. And you'll see those on the Sessions to Go page. If you do go to the Sessions to Go page, just scroll down and see the different subjects that are available. It takes a while because, as I say, there are 65 videos there at the last count. Here, for example, we did a focus group number 18. It was playing in the style of. And over the weeks, we did it over six weeks. And these are all YouTube video links that take you to the particular songs we talked about at the sessions. And um, you haven't necessarily got recordings of all of these uh, sessions, but it was good fun. And um, these are where you can come to. These, these sessions here, these focus group areas are where you can come to, to get more information. And um, it is sometimes repeated as well. So for example, getting the most from your guitar. Well, we looked at that and uh, there's a couple of very um, 
unique actually um, handouts here. So if I click on that one, here's a suggestion for your practice time, for example. And so you can have a quick look at that to see what we recommend. Down there, we've got using chord sequences. And so it covers all sorts of things. Now this one here has got a link in it. So if you click on that, it takes you to a further sheet and uh, it takes us to our chord relationship table. So there's all sorts of stuff in there. Now, I'll be the first to admit that navigating your, your, your way around the focus group page is difficult because it really is a repository of information. The best bet, if you want to learn how to do something, drop me a line and I will point you in the right direction for any particular um, piece of paper that exists that you can use. And in particular, if you're coming to me for uh, private tuition, we'll be using these sheets very often in the sessions. So there's a whole raft of stuff here. We've got everything from timing and rhythm, jamming and creativity. Um, we did getting familiar with scales, marvelous techniques for right hand fretboard focus. You can find out more about the fretboard, learning a lead guitar instrumental and so on and so forth. So we covered a whole raft of stuff and we still refer to these now. So have a look through them. Once you're a member, you've got access to all of them anyway, so you might just as well go and have a read of them and see if anything interesting comes to mind. If there's nothing on the telly, it's a good place <laughs> to go. The focus group page. I've called it the playing techniques page nowadays because focus group doesn't really mean anything to anybody anymore. Right, I've done a lot of talking. This page in particular, and the members page, there is one trick that we can use. If I hold down the control key on my keyboard and hit F, this little box comes up at the top. So if I want to find out something about the fretboard, if I type in fretboard, look at that. One of 11, it highlights the word fretboard. So I can now go down and see where the word fretboard appears. There it is, look, we're going down one at a time, as you can see. And then there's another one down there. So if you know that we were looking at something to do with the fretboard, but you can't remember where it was, you can use the search facility on that page. So if you're not sure if it's there, what about chords? There must be something on chords. Let's see if there is. Yes, there is. One of 14. So we got 14 references to chords on that page. So you can search for pretty much anything that way. It's a very useful thing. So that's holding down the control key on your keyboard and then hitting the letter F, control F for find. That's what it stands for. Let's go and have a look and just see if we can do that on any other pages. What about the song list page? Uh, what about, let's look for Stairway. Yeah, there it is, look, it comes up. So it's a handy thing to have, particularly when you get to a page that's as long as this jolly thing here, you know, this huge thing. So what about this land? Let's search for two words this time. This land. Oh, there we go, look, it's gone straight to the session. So that helps you to find in a little bit more detail uh, anything that you think, hang on, it's here somewhere, where is it? It just saves you time in your searching. Okay, and also if you want to get back to the top of the page, control home takes you straight there. And control end takes you straight down to the bottom, which in some cases is a bit of blank paper, as you can see. Let's just go home again. So the control key on your keyboard is quite useful for navigating around the pages too. So let's just check, make sure that I've covered everything that I want to. I think I have. I think that's it. And we've gone a little bit over our 30 minutes, for which I apologise, but I'm going to ask if there's any questions now. No. Excellent. Good. <clears throat> Okay, well, all that remains for me to do is to thank you very much for joining me tonight.
it could be that you're watching this uh, as a recording. If so, hopefully it's just as relevant and just as um, either interesting or sends you to sleep in the same way, whichever. And um, I should look forward to seeing you all again very soon.